another test we're going to do here today at uh, Rob Con Outdoors is this is made out of L Max. Um, it's a quarter inch thick, and I don't know, it's five inches long. This was going to be a new model at one point, and the, the, it, the grind went horribly wrong. So now we're going to use it as a heat treat test knife. So we're just going to we're just going to beat it up and, and see what happens. All right, this is Brian again with CPE Knives and here at RobCon Outdoors. We have a uh, experimental blade here that we're going to be doing some edge testing on this L-Max heat treat. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mess around with some wood here. Just do some shaving, just kind of see, put some, put some lateral stress on the edge, which is the worst test for a knife edge. Just going to do some, some bending and twisting in there and see if we get any chips or any major deformations. Handles actually turned out pretty comfortable. So I'm just forcing it in there with a lot of lateral pressure. As you can see, I'm cranking on that pretty good. There's some pretty big chips there. It's more of an abuse test than anything. Again, just to test the heat treat. Pull up good. Actually, no chips, so that's good. I'm gonna do some baton in here. Going back to this berry wood. Actually, baton very well. Nice little knot there for us. Tip here, get some tip abuse. Okay, now I got some willow wood here. I'm going to aim, as you can see, there's a big old knot. I'm going to aim for that knot right there. See if we can't get right through that guy. This wood is thick. Again, you want to be real careful not to whack yourself in the back of the hand here. There's that knot. Looks like we are in good shape. I don't see any major chips, actually any chips at all. So that's pretty awesome. All right, we got this big chunk of willow here. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and make sure I'm in frame here. Am I still in frame? You are. Okay. You go up, the, up a little, let me just, right there, perfect. And we got, just to show you guys I wasn't fooling you, we got this big old knot here. You can see all of the, uh, all of the areas where the knife was actually cutting in, and then it smooths out right here. You can see where it just hit that knot, and then came out the other side, and then started cutting again here, and then just split the rest of the way. But that's that was pretty brutal. I actually felt the, the blade bending in my hand, and it still still held together. Okay, Brian here again, doing a little bit more abusive testing on this LMAX stainless blade. Um, a little bit uh, unconventional for for uh, abuse testing, but we're going to kind of take it a little bit further than we normally would. We're going to do some tip pry tests, just stabbing and prying into this uh, this willow log that we uh, batoned earlier. It's got a nice stabby point on it. This wood is pretty dense. It's 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 softer than oak, but it's taken some ridiculous chunks out of this willow. I'm putting some pretty intense, pretty intense pressure on this tip. Handles, even though the handle isn't turned out to what it's supposed to be, it's actually worked out real well with this rounded end. It's a perfect spot for my thumb.
this is actually digging better than my Bark River knives. It's got a thinner edge, and it is a full flat con compared to the, the Bark River's convex, full convex grind. But you can see there, that's a pretty deep hole. How far are you from digging all the way through? That'd be cool. Um, not too far, actually. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a baton. I'm going to baton in there a little bit, get myself a little bit deeper, and then do some prying. You can see this knife is bending pretty intensely. Did it snap back? Snap back to shape? Yep. Yes, it did not hold. To do that again, I'm going to zoom in on you. Might have gone too deep there. Need a lot of them on a budge on that one. Tip is still there. Looks like the knife is still straight. Might be taking a slight bend to it, but I'm not sure yet. Which again, this is not normal use, this is abuse. So you would never bend a knife that far in use. Definitely not, especially in a survival situation. And this is the only tool you have to rely on. Come in from the other side here. I am not getting any hot spots at all on this handle, surprisingly. It's shape. Oh, that was a good flex on it that time. <laughs> yeah, it was. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, you can see that easy. That was a good flex. Looks like it came pretty much back too, didn't it? It's pretty so. straight still. Yeah, it looks pretty straight. Yeah, I can't, I can't decipher any bend in it right now. Not in this light. And and just so everyone's aware, uh, we do testing like this on all the different materials that we use. So this is not just, uh, let me zoom out, this is not just our Elmex. Before we ship you guys a knife, it goes through testing like this. Come so come on up in here and let's see you just pride your way through that limb there. And let's see the tip of the knife. And it is still there. See how skinny, go and turn it edgewise. We see how, look how, I'm gonna zoom in there. So just hold him still. Did you guys to see how fine that tip is. See if we can get him to focus. There it is. So, didn't, didn't chip, didn't break nothing. See the edge on the tip is still completely intact. Let's see the, the, the lengthwise of the knife. Did it chip anywhere where the bend happened? Do you see any chips in the blade anywhere? I don't. The knife is straight, from what I can tell. And the knife is still straight, so it flexed that far and popped right back. That's a pretty good sign of the heat treat, and you can see the blade edge there. Let me zoom in. I do not see any chips at all in the blade. There's some rolling from the abuse test, the lateral abuse test from the ferrule rod, but that's to be expected on any knife. Okay. But this edge is... That it's still pretty sharp. Excellent. Don't know if it shaves. Yep. Well, and it still shaves. And it's shaving. So there's that. And it's it's shaving the entire length of the blade, actually. So. So I think uh, L Max may be the ticket. Sweet. All right. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, 
Paul from CP Knives, and we are at RobCon Outdoors, and we just finished testing our LMAX heat treat. And uh, I'm sure, as you saw, it's pretty tough. She's still shaving after after all that batoning and digging and prying. Uh, again, uh, website is cpeknives.com.